If you can't decide what to do with all those pictures stored in your cell phone, gift guru and best-selling author Sandra Mag Salmon is with us today to share her creative solutions. So Sandra, what is your favorite gift idea to use with pictures? Well, my absolute favorite idea is this little book right here. It's oh, called cute. The 21 Things We Love About You. And I made it for my daughter, Hannah. So it's filled with photographs and mm -hmm. sentences that describe all the things I love about her. And if you have so cute. a friend who's 85, it could be the 85 things we love about you. And it's just wonderful because you can download the pictures online. Um, there are many, many book publishers online now. And then add your thoughts and your feelings to the book and it'll come to your door in a couple days. And who would not want a book like this? Yes. Everybody would want Hannah that. loved it. And in fact, we got to 21 and we realized there were more than 21, so I had to keep writing them. <laughs> I like That's her not so a bad much. thing. Yeah. Then next year you do 22. Exactly. Okay, so then a plate. I would never think of a plate with a picture. Well, this makes a wonderful uh, wall decor. I, mean, I filled a wall with these wonderful photos. Mm -hmm. You just print your photo, cut it out, and then use these wonderful little beads you can find at a local craft store and glue it on with hot glue and put a hook right on the back and hang it right on the wall. So friends, family, or like, you know, you could do it with your kids, like each year. Absolutely. Yeah. Something like that. Beautiful. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. A wreath yes. with picture frames. Never seen this before, so tell us about it. Well, again, going to your local craft store, this is a very inexpensive, very easy, but very meaningful gift to make. So you, you buy the grapevine mm -hmm. wreath. Um, I bought these frames at the store, tied them on the grapevine wreath, and then I, I filled it with little beads and baubles that I collect from anywhere, flea markets or um, little stores, um, and just hot glue them on. And then it's just a lovely gift to hang on the door. Each year you can change it out, you can change photos, and it's just a you know, great meaningful meaningful gift to share. It's like a family wreath there. Yes, it is. Yeah. I love it. Circle love of it. love. Oh, cute. Yeah. Okay. And so this jewelry, I love lockets. Yes. Absolutely love lockets. And I don't even know where to buy that. Well, again, go to your local craft store. Mm -hmm. I love to mix metal. So I've, I've purchased two different kinds of chains. I've strung them together. And then this is, you can buy at a craft store and you add the photo of a friend or a sister or loved your mom, one. loved one, yeah. anyone. And it's a really lovely gift to share. Very cute. Yeah, Very and again, cute. do the same thing with the bracelet. This is just a little bracelet that's bought at the store. Fill the frames with um, photos, and it's really, really lovely. It really and meaningful. acknowledges. And meaningful. Thank you so much, Sandra. Now I've got a use for all those pictures in my cell phone. Yes, wonderful. <laughs> We're always looking for ways to live our best lives, especially on a daily basis. With me today is dietitian and health fitness specialist, Rebecca Scritchfield, and we're discussing ways to sneak good for you habits. Ready to tile I can't wait to All right. see this. I'm Kim Miles. I am so excited to be back for the new season of Homemade Simple. Paint a little glue down underneath, press it in, and then give it a little glue coating on top, and it's seasoned.